Trying to gain an edge on a seasonal forecast is always intriguing to me, whether it's looking at a global pattern or even weather folklore. The first day of winter has me looking ahead to what the winter may hold from a folklore point of view. This time around, I'm looking at the weather for the first day of the season and checking to see how that correlates to a seasonal forecast. As the theory suggests, the weather on the solstice or equinox dictates what the season will hold. For instance, if the first day of spring was cooler than average, expect cooler than average temperatures for the season. Well, here's what I found. The first day of spring was cooler than average and dry in Sioux Falls. The spring season that followed started below average but slowly warmed. Overall, Sioux Falls was slightly below average for temperatures and very dry. The first day of summer was above average and dry. The summer was well above average for temperatures and, of course, very dry for precipitation. The first day of fall was also above average, but with a tenth of an inch of rain. The fall ended up warm and dry, so while the temperature forecast worked, the precipitation did not. This time around, the first day of winter was warm and dry. We'll see if that means the winter will be that way. But give it a couple of days and we'll have a storm system bring in a lot of moisture to Kettle Land in the form of rain and snow. In fact, some in Kettle Land may receive at least half of their total winter precipitation. Of course, with the warm air in eastern Kettle Land, a lot, if not all of that, will fall in the form of rain. For Kettle Land Weather, I'm meteorologist Scott Munt.